I am Linda from Salty Seattle, and today we're making pasta pinwheels. I'm really interested in the confluence of art, fashion, and food. I actually think that bringing those three things together would make our world a more cheerful and artistic place. So I'm always trying to think about patterns that occur in nature, patterns that occur in clothing and in textiles, and how I can weave that into my story with pasta. in terms of being able to come up with sort of sometimes seemingly simple combinations in unique ways is something that really drives my work. The process that I'll be uh, working through today is how to make pasta pinwheels, which sounds just crazy, but it is. It's like being a little kid. These things are so pretty and so fun. You know, they twirl like pinwheels and they're delicious like pasta and they're beautiful like an artistic textile. These are red and white stripes. The red is made from beets and roasted red peppers to get that perfect sort of candy apple, big apple red hue. And then the white, people are always asking, how do you make white pasta dough? Well, you start with something white. So flour's white, but if you add eggs to it, that would make it really yellow. So I always look to, what else can I do? And for this particular shade of white, I actually used whole milk yogurt. A lot goes into thinking about making, you know, these really crazy pretty things and these shapes that are going to be both good for you and delicious. One thing that I do really like to drive home most is that artistic beauty and that flow and there's something just almost meditative about it when I'm behind the pasta board and I kind of get my zen on. This is really the culmination of everything that I love about the artistic side of what I do. head over to my YouTube page where I show you the intricacies and the details and the true ins and outs. It's Salty Seattle. See you there.